Hey guys, it's Craig Kuzumar here, back with another video, and this video today is going to be an iPad Pro review. So, um, this is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, 256 gig space gray model with Apple Pencil. And um, this is going to be an artist review. This is going to be me going over having this for four months and my usage for it, my usage with it. Um, and I'm going to be talking purely from an artist's perspective, not going over too much tech stuff, uh, just basically my experience as an artist and how well it works and all that stuff. Um, so basically, if you're an artist and you're looking to maybe purchase this or purchase this for an artist for, you know, the holidays or whatnot, um, hoping this will be the video for you and it will answer some of the questions you're looking for answers for. Looking for answers for. Um, anyways, so um, this model is the 256 gig 12.9 space gray model and it's the 2017 version or iPad Pro 2. And just to let you know if this is the first video of mine you've watched, um, I actually did a review for, which was not a very good review, uh, that was like my first review, but anyways, the first generation of iPad Pro that I had for about six months, and then I've had this one for about four months, so I've been using iPad Pro a lot for ten months now. Um, and now, let me get into kind of what I do with it and how much I use it. I use this a lot. This iPad Pro, I use it all the time, every day, and I do a lot of work on it. And so I have heavy usage and um, up front, close and personal every day. So, and uh, I use it to ink, I use it to paint, I use it to sketch, I use it to do studies, I use it for a lot of things. And I bring it places and I sketch too and I draw too. So, um, yeah, let me show you some of the stuff. So, I do some paintings on here, um, I do uh, my inking. This is one of the ink pages. Uh, it's a pretty hefty, it, it's a pretty big page, um, the size of it. Uh, and it's on Procreate, and I've inked this for my um, publication with North Caesar. And uh, uh, just to let you know, anything I talk about in here, like North Caesar, my Facebook, anything like that, um, people who have published with. Hey guys, just want to pause the video for just a second. Um, just uh, let those people know who. Uh, might possibly be wondering where the thumbnail illustration came from um thumbnail is illustration is mine and it's right here i got the whole whole dirt ordeal um you're not going to see this around for a little while um it's actually for my patreon um i've been keeping on the down low because i don't have it ready yet i was building up content for it and uh i was still getting everything set up so it's not it's not fully active this isn't an advertisement for it but just in case you guys were wondering that illustration is for a patreon that I'm going to be launching in the future so just want to let you guys know and uh, that's it I'll let you guys get back to the video let me just go into some of these so you see this is just a random thing that I was working on and uh, this piece of crap um, just some studies that I was doing, well, that was just studying. Uh, this is an actual study that I looked at something and I try to quickly sketch it. It's a random painting I did. And uh, this is an illustration I did on here. Fully on here, by the way. So um, that's how I use it, I use it really heavily. And now let me get into iOS 11. Um, everything was skippy dandy for before iOS 11. Then iOS 11 came out and there's a bunch of crap everywhere. No, I'm kidding. But no, there have been some problems. And um, one big thing is if you're using bigger files like my um, file here, just show you the size of file that I am using on here. Canvas info, 600 DPI, and it's 9.252. So let's just say 9.2 inches by 13. 13.3 inches and 600 dpi is pretty big page um you know around the standard size of uh, comic or manga pages so um but after the ios 11 update you cannot export this um 
into PNG, a Photoshop document, any of that good stuff. So if I were to go to share, you can only do JPEG. And it's, it's, I, I almost miss, miss my deadline. This is one of the reasons why I almost missed my deadline because this was happening. I originally thought it was because Procreate did an update for Procreate 4. And uh, I thought that the reason why it was doing that was because Procreate 4 had an issue. Turns out I emailed them and they said it's, it's an iOS issue. So I ended up going and actually checking. Um, I, I'll play this while I'm talking for a second here in a second. I have actually a time lapse of this saved because Procreate does that automatically. But um, I actually went and checked with Medibang to try to make the same size canvas and everything and try to export it. Yes, it does the same thing and it will not let me export it in Photoshop document or PNG if it's too big of a file, which there was no problem with that before iOS 11. And so it is an iOS 11 problem like the Procreate team told me, which there has been now three iOS 11 updates and nothing has changed. So what the hell? Um, Apple, so you pretty much screen, like basically, let's say this product is being bought by a lot of professional artists to be able to do work on the go, and let's say they're just doing like the bare minimum, like sketching something out, or me inking a page so they can finish it on their computer with screen tones and stuff, and then all of a sudden you find out, voila, you can't freaking export it. Only in JPEG, which if you're doing inks and you want to do something that color it, it's best to export it in a PNG so that way you don't have any white background stuck to the inking. And uh, guess what? Shaft for you, um, iPad Pro users, so get your crap together, Apple, and fix this iOS 11 problem. I mean, they still haven't done it. It's ridiculous because a lot of the people who buy this are going to be using pretty good sized canvases that they will not be able to export now. Um, anyways, rant, because that pissed me off. But anyways, and the reason why I'm so upset about it is because this whole thing happened right around my deadline, and I wasn't going to be able to export any of the pages for my publication. So, yeah, it really made me mad because I almost missed my deadline. You're asking maybe, how did I actually make it then? Did they, did they fix it? No, obviously, because I said they didn't fix it, but... Um, thank God they have this file feature because if they did not have this, um, I would have been com file feature and drag and drop. I would have been completely freaking thing. <laughs> I would have been completely screwed because I was thinking, how, how, how can I do this? I don't want to do it in JPEG because it's going to be annoying if I do. And luckily, they created drag and drop. And I can literally grab a freaking layer out of Procreate and drop it into my Files app, which is actually through your Files app, you can access your Dropbox. And I would drop it into my Dropbox and bam, it saved it as a PNG into my Dropbox. And if that was not a feature, I would not have been getting this off properly and I most likely would have been late on my deadline. So, freaking Apple. Um... Anyways, other than that little problem, uh, <laughs> iOS 11 has been pretty awesome. So iOS 11 allows you to drag and drop, which is super cool. Um, let me actually do something real quick. Maybe uh, I think this will be allowed to drop in here. Yeah, drag and drop. And voila, that's so dope, right? It just, <laughs> like, that's so cool. Like, uh, by the way, this is an illustration I... I did. If you haven't watched any of my, my, my last videos, it's an illustration I did. I put in some lettering. Pretty cool. I like it. I didn't do the lettering on here. I did it on my computer. So, um, But yeah, I like the drag and drop feature. I like their new, like, um, drag this here and do it like that. Because now you can throw it over here. You can throw it over here. If you throw it over here, it's not gone. You can bring it back here. Some people may not like the fact that you can't, like, pull it anymore. Like, we used to be able to pull it like that. But um, if you do this, it it does that again. But I mean, I actually like it like this because then I can throw it over here, do whatever I'm doing and be like, oh, I need my reference back. Oh, okay, I can throw it back over there when I'm done now. So 
yeah, drag and drop is awesome. There are new mult multitasking. I also like that, the way it's set up. Um, Alrighty guys, so I'm going to wrap this video up with talking about the quality of the Apple Pencil. You guys are probably like, dude, you're doing an artist review. How come you're not talking about the Apple Pencil? Don't worry, I got you. So I'm going to be going over that now and the quality of it, how good it is or bad. Um, and two apps that I feel like are essential to get when you're getting the iPad Pro. And then one more app that I'm not going to go over, but I do recommend if you want to just spend extra $5 to play around with the app because it's amazing, which is Autodesk Sketchbook. Amazing app. I think it's like $5 to get all the features on there, and it's really amazing. They did an update and brought their game up to try to compete with uh, the rest of the programs. It's not very good for like print quality work because they got some like layer restriction things, uh, a little bit worse than like Procreate and stuff like that. But Really amazing app, and it's fun to draw on. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to name the things that I feel like these two apps, Procreate and Medibang, are the two apps that I recommend, and I'm going to name the things that I feel like they're good at. Procreate, painting, inking, and overall presentation fluidity of the app. Amazing app. Medibang, I feel like it's good at desktop features, features in general, and light inking, or heavy inking and light painting. So now I'm going to go in and show pressure sensitivity with Apple Pencil and what I'm talking about for these, these two apps. So basically, this isn't going to be an app review. I'm just going to roughly go over this stuff and I'm going to save the in-depth stuff for the app reviews that I've always said I'm going to do, but I am going to do them now um, for these two apps. So I'm going to roughly go over these two things. I'm going to show you. Yes, the pressure sensitivity for this is amazing. Do not worry about the quality of the Apple Pencil. I, it, it is worth the $100. Basically, a stylus from Wacom is about $100 as well. And this thing is truly amazing. You're wondering maybe about uh, battery life for it. Battery life for it is also amazing. And right before I get into this, I just want to cover something for you guys that uh, I don't think I covered yet. After four months, this device is not slowing, slowing down. This device works just like I, it did when I got it. And uh, its battery life for this device is amazing. It lasts about five and a half hours to six hours. You're like, that's not very good. I use it very heavily. And uh, this will easily get you through a day if you're, you know, like I come home and I literally pretty much just draw and I forget to eat. So yeah, I kill the battery a little fast. But uh, it also depends on your screen brightness and how heavily you're using it and what you're doing. I'm always drawing. So it puts a little more strain on the device. If you're watching something, it's going to last a little longer than that. So battery life, trust me, it's amazing for what this device does, how big the screen is, and the quality you're getting compared to other devices that are supposed to do the same thing. And their battery life will not last as long, trust me. Like the Mobile Studio Pro does everything a desktop should, but its battery life is a poop. So trust me, battery life great. And now let's get into this. So, Apple Pencil. If you're one of the, if you're an artist like me that is really worried about activation fee, uh, act, initial activation force, which is pretty much just when the pen is registered, when when the pen touches the screen, when does it register pressure? Don't worry, it registers it at the slightest touch, right when it touches the screen, it is there. I will zoom up and I barely touch it and it's there. So if you're a light sketcher, this, this uh, device, iPad Pro, amazing. Apple Pencil, amazing. Pressure, pressure curve with it, pressure sensitivity, amazing. It's, it's awesome. And uh, I really love it. And uh, you guys are like, you're just doing the scribble stuff again. If you guys want to see some of my, like, I'm not doing any demos for this. If you guys want to see some of, like, the demo-ish stuff, my speed paints, my time lapses, go and look at my other videos. It's all there. Anything that says iPad Pro is mostly just me doing stuff on Procreate. So if you want to see Procreate in action, go look at those videos. So I'm just doing my scribbles right now. Now, for the painting, um... Painting is also very amazing. They got a new engine for the blending and stuff. So it is super amazing on here. I love the painting. It's so great. And uh, I cannot stress that enough. 
it's super great for painting painting that looks uh traditional um oil painting uh it's uh, this app is also very good with brush custom customizability or brush customizations there we go yeah so it's very good with being able to customize your brushes to get what you want and that's why it's very good for inking very smooth inking and very nice painting and it's also very good with its whole layout now let's get to medibang um uh before let me just really quick before we get to medibang uh i want to mention for both of these apps this is a five dollar charge i think it's like five six dollar charge totally worth it trust me five dollars compared to like if you're buying a desktop application you're but you're paying like sixty dollars normally or way more um unless it's on sale for like 15 <laughs> but medibang completely free and that is the most amazing part about it if you're asking me well then why haven't you had any time lapses or anything like that on your channel one um it didn't have a screen record feature it doesn't have a screen record feature like uh, procreate does but now with ios 11 they have the screen record feature so i will be using it and two procreate or <laughs> sorry medibang had an issue with its screen and uh, the canvas would blur anything in the canvas and it looked like crap. So I stopped using it since I had the iPad Pro when I found that out. But they recently released an update a few weeks ago that now supports retina display and the screen looks just as sharp on this canvas as it does on Procreate. So now this application for free is a beast. It's awesome. So if you didn't have $5 to spend after spending all the money on this and the iPad Pro, trust me, this free app, it's going to do it for you. Then do it for you. Um, this one, this app uh, is the closest to a desktop feature app you'll get. This is a pressure sensitivity, um, pretty much just as good as Procreate. I would, I would have to say not quite as fluid, but it's not like noticeably unfluid. It's, it, it's a great app. Um, so you're not going to be like, man, this isn't as good as Procreate. Like it's, it's great when you're drawing. So trust me, I'm really picky and this is a great app for inking and it's pressure sensitivity is great. You can also change pressure sensitivity and you can actually change it to something that you want. Um, this one, this application excels at desktop features and you procreate does not offer shape um shape feet uh basically shape options to create shapes and all that stuff you cannot create a circle on there there are ways to create uh solid squares but it's not a square tool this is good with tools and stuff like that this app is good for people you can do illustrations on here in painting but um it excels at manga artist stuff or comic artist stuff like you got panel tools here um you got a uh, really really in-depth like that's <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> desktop feeling selection tool um you can adjust it adjust the basically the strength of it it, it let's just say it is better than procreate selection tool um you got a transform uh you got alter which is just pretty much changing the size of it you got free transform which means you can also cr uh, completely transform its shape by taking it from whatever like you can you can do this and like uh if i can grab this point pinpoint here there you go you can do something like that um that's pretty cool uh, mesh transformation no app that I know on the iPad Pro has this and this is really important for painters or just someone who wants to fit something uh, that's flat into something that would be into a cloth wrinkle um, this is good for like fast tweaks on something that you need to do little like shortcuts on stuff um, that's amazing I don't see any other app with that um, so yeah, and just to let you guys know, this is Asta or Aster, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> from uh, Black Clover, which is what I've really been getting into. I will be uploading this video finished 
color and everything either when this video uploads same day or a couple days after. So you will be getting a time lapse of the whole screen and exactly what I'm doing on Medibang of this character. So um, there's a lot of other cool things on here that I'm going to cover in my app review, but that's just some stuff that I wanted to get out of the way. Like um, just really quick, I'm going to talk about... Um, uh, the layer restrictions are a lot, a lot less uh, restrictive on this app. So I don't know exactly how much compared to Procreate, but I'll go into that when I do the reviews. You also can do screen tones on here, which is really cool if you're in the manga or comic artists use it sometimes too. But if you're in the manga, you use it all the time and you can create a full-fledged manga on here. The only thing is uh, it doesn't have very good um, uh, text like... Uh, uh, fonts but anyways so there are a lot of other cool features that I want to go over in Medibang but I'll save that for the full review and just to wrap everything up the Apple Pencil is great this device is great every every problem from iOS 11 and uh, update for Procreate those those problems they're gonna be ironed out they always are um, from the, my experiences, they always get ironed out, so don't have to worry about that. Um, if you're planning on buying this for yourself for art, or if you're planning on buying this for someone for the holidays, trust me, it's a beautiful device. It's amazing, super portable, it lasts, and if you're wondering if you could, should get the second generation or the first generation, um, if you're getting it from the start, just go with the second generation. You might as well. So it's not that much of a price difference for what you're getting and how long you're going to be using it. Just get the second generation. And if you're looking to upgrade, um, there's not that big of a difference. That's your call. Uh, I have another video talking about upgrading that you can go and watch. Um, but it's it's really not that big of a difference with the 120 refresh rate. I mean, yeah, it, I mean, I can't really notice it that much. But when I go back to my other iPad Pro, yeah, it shows a little bit, but yeah, so all in all, this is a great device. I recommend it. If you want to see like videos of me drawing on Medibang, that'll be coming. If you want to see videos of me drawing on Procreate, already have those. You can go watch them on my channel because pretty much all of them <laughs> are uh, on Procreate. So um, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this video answers some of the questions that you had. And uh, if you guys did like this video, please hit that thumbs button. And um, if you want to see more from me, see more of my art, you can subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that bell button to, you know, get notified when my videos come out. If you want to see other stuff I'm doing in between my videos, check me out on my Facebook page. Everything you need to know about me is in the description below. And like always, guys, that's all I got. And I'll see you next time.